coffee. Is a saloon? This is a pop. This is the um, drop so, top. It's like Austin Coffee Rhyming Slam. Ruby stands for saloon. No, but there was three, and the ruby was the saloon. What's this one? Then? So this is the earth. Okay. Oh yeah, the earth. Mm. Yeah. Have a look around. <laughs> one hundred years ago, perhaps the most important part of the Great British Car Journey began. The Austin 7 not only transformed the fortunes of the company, it truly brought motoring to the people. The Opal was the last in the line of the entry-level 7. It had wheels, two seats and a hood, about all you need. By 1939, it was available for just £102.10. and shillings. But what it also had was an extra 7 horsepower, a 4-speed synchromesh gearbox and electric starter and brakes that actually worked. With continual improvement and refinement from the car's launch in 1922 to the end of production in 1939, it's little wonder that over 300,000 sevens were produced. Oh, Should we play what's in the glove box again? Oh, let's play, look. And we, do you know what that's for? Holding the choke out. Holding the choke out. <laughs> Holding the choke out. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you just got a clue. Well, yes. Just see how far your arm disappears. Yeah, far. Not very far. <laughs> that's too the last one. It is, isn't it? So we're, we're playing what's in the glove box and then how far does your arm... I feel like we should do some history of the cars, yeah. though. So if I remember correctly from the introduction we had to the Austin 7, yeah. Austin was going bust, the yeah. receivers were in in 1921, yeah. going back to his massive house, because of course Austin had a massive house even though the receivers were in. As far as it goes. No, oh, that says not in. No, that says not in. I think we should put it back. Put it back, put it back quick. <laughs> abort! Abort! <laughs> Didn't do it. You're gonna look this. Can you hear that? Can you hear the clock? Yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. Oh! For God's sake. <laughs> we are filming, aren't we? Yeah. Oh yes! Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm having a menopausal hot sweat now. Me too. <laughs> I can't do it. Right, okay. So right, no, 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 it. no, that, nope. no, 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 hang on. Are we out of gear? Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> okay. oh. For God's sake. I promise you, if you come and drive one of these cars, you will get proper tuition. You won't have Sarah Crabtree laughing at you when you stall it. You will stall it. Um, <laughs> Just pull it out. Oh. Oh. We are rolling. 
falling, actually. <laughs> it's a moving target. How did you? You pull it up and then put it on like um like a bungee. There's two bungees. Is there? Yeah. Two? On the side, two. Hang on. We're rolling. You put the handbrake. Right. Yeah, those little things there. Yeah, them. The one at the front. Hey. Yeah. There's a little, like, flappy thing. And it goes inside. <laughs> Can you see it? It's like a little flap coming off the bonnet. Yeah. I think we've, we've got it. Yeah, it's just well, like to say. <laughs> can't we? I'd just pull up and ask him if he can have a go. So, if you were in this car with someone that you didn't really know, it's quite intimate. Yeah, they didn't it's really think about it. No, um, you have touched my leg quite a <laughs> few times. I don't know if that was on purpose or no. by accident. No, by accident. Um, really scary. Now would you take this car on a motorway? Drive a clan crusader on the motorway. Yeah. And I'm lower in the corner than I Yeah miss. you are. But this feels very But at least I can do 70 miles an hour. Yeah exactly. What's this gonna do? 50? Is it? Probably not. There's a car with a roof which <laughs> although you might not be able to see it it's pretty cold here. Car with roof sounds good, and they're warming it up. Are we? Are we going? I know oh, it's gone. Oh. It's gone. Oh, 